Hi and welcome to another video in my Photoshop Elements 2020 series. In a previous video we created a new empty catalogue called PSE Training into which we can import the training files if you've purchased the full training package. If not, you can just use your own files in the default catalogue. Once this is done you'll be able to view, organise and share your photos. Now to import photos you can do it in either of the following methods. The first one is to drag a folder of images from the Explorer if you're in Windows or the Finder if you're in the Mac and drag it directly into the Organizer workspace. So let's have a look how that works. If I go down and open up my Windows Explorer you can see here that I've navigated to where my Photoshop Elements 2020 lesson files are. And in the folder lesson one, if I open that, I've got two subfolders. And the first one's got some, it's called import one. And that's the folder that I want to import. I've got images in it. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and drag it and drop it into the workspace and just let go. Now what will happen is that I've got a import attached keyword tags dialog. And this is telling me that the imported images are going to have, they have a, a tag of Lesson 01. And if I want to import that, I need to just check that box and then click OK. And off it goes. And as by magic, we've now imported six images um, from the hard drive into Elements. You can see here it classes them as the last import and this is obviously all that we've got in this catalog. But what I need to do is to go back and click the back button. And that now takes me to all media. And this is now telling me that this is all the media that I have imported into this catalog. And in the folders section, you can see here it says import one. Now another method is to use the import drop down. So if I go up to the import drop down here, I can select from files and folders. And then I've got to navigate to wherever the files and folders are. And here we are again, they're on the lesson files, live link lesson files, lesson one. But this time I want to go for import two. Now I just want to make sure that it says get photos from subfolders and automatically fix red eyes and automatically suggest photo stacks for the moment are turned off. And then I'm just going to click get media. And again, this will bring up and say, well, the, the, the files that you're wanting to import have a tag of lesson one. Yep, well, I want that bringing in and then I'm going to click OK. And off it goes now. And we've done, we've now got another six images all imported. And again, you can see here, last import. If I want to see all the images that I've imported to, to date, then I go and click the back button. And now you can see I've got 12 images. This is showing me all my media. And I've now got two folders, import one and import two. So I can click on the import one just to show me what's in import one folder and import to to show me what's in import to folder. Now there is a third method, but I'll let you have a go at that. You can use the menu. We can go to file because it's awful fiddly this sometimes get photos and videos and from files and folders and then navigate to wherever the images are. Now let's nip back to all media. And here you can see the thumbnails with no information whatsoever. If you like a little bit of information, what we can do is we can go up to the view menu and click details. Or there's a handy little keyboard shortcut of control and D. And if we click on that, you can see it'll show you the star ratings. You can show you the, uh, the import date. And it'll also show you a little blue tag here that tells you that these images uh, all have some tags or keywords on them. OK, well, that's it for importing. Now we've got 12 images imported into the Photoshop Elements Organizer and we're ready to rock. 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.